What's up guys, Crypto Glenn back here with another video. As we continue our series into airdrops, I've got the Yakadot Finance airdrop here for you today. Now, the wonderful thing about Yaka Finance is they run on the Say Network. Say is a strong and up and coming layer one. And I think it's poised to do some really, really interesting things. So I wanted to bring this to you. The also thing I wanna mention about this is the Yaka Finance decentralized exchange. In order to qualify for their airdrop, the only thing you have to do is interact with the protocol on testnet now if you're unfamiliar with testnet is you're essentially using practice tokens so you don't actually have to utilize any real crypto to qualify for this airdrop now there's a few things that just aren't ready just yet so i will have to do a follow-up video but right now i'm going to show you what you need to know right now in order to qualify for this airdrop so the first thing you need to do is head over to the chrome web store because say network you know, you need to have your own wallet. What I found is the Compass wallet is probably one of the easier ones to utilize. So go over to the Chrome Web Store, download the browser extension wallet. And after you have that, you've got your 24 word phrase already locked away. You've got it jotted down. You've created a password for the wallet and the wallet's ready to roll. Come over here to app.yaka.finance. Click the faucet button. It's going to bring you here. Now, the thing about these test tokens is in order to get test tokens, you're going to need to connect your Compass wallet that we just downloaded. You're also going to need a Discord account. So if you don't already have one, maybe you might want to think about creating one as well as putting in your address. So step one will be connect the wallet. Step two, connect your Discord account. Step three will be to connect your wallet address. So you literally just copy the wallet address. You paste it here. This is going to look a little different. It'll say inner wallet address. You paste that there. You click request. It's going to give you this warning. Go ahead and click request. It's going to give you a, Hey, we see that you requested test tokens. We're going to send you some. I'm not eligible because again, I did this last night. I won't qualify for more airdrop token or test tokens rather, excuse me, until around three 30 in the morning. All right. Coming back over to app.yaka.finance, you can utilize this page here as essentially your milestone. So you're going to get points for interacting with the decks on testnet. The first way you can get points is if you come over here to uh, swap and your testnet tokens are going to be deposited to your say coin. This is a test coin. You're only going to get about five. So please be careful about how you do these following steps. I like to swap in between each one of these coins. So I've got say I'm going to make sure I've got some Yaka, some USDT, some USDC, and that is going to give me additional points here. OK, uh, you don't have to move one. You can literally move over 0 0.0003, like a, a small, small amount. And that's again, you can see here it's populated with a small balance. I would do that because again, you only get five in 24 hours. And if you use large amounts, obviously they can go fast. So what I would start by doing first is I come over here to the pools and I would see what are my pairs for the pools. And I'd make sure I've got some say token. And I'd make sure I take some of my say and swap it to Yaka. I'd make sure I take some say, swap it to USDC, say, swap it to USDT, say, swap it to yeah, USDT and Yaka. And once you do that, you should have all the pairs that you need. Now, once you have, the specific amount that you've decided come over here you know you're going to start at the top the first pool go ahead and click over enter deposit and you're going to say okay well how much do you want to deposit i'm going to say 0 0.0003 right and i'm going to deposit that i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again but i'm going to deposit that and i'm going to come back over here to liquidity pools i'm going to say okay what's my next pair usdc to usdt enter Come over here to deposit and this is just like providing liquidity on any decks that you may have interacted with currently 0 0.003 insufficient okay so obviously um, i need to top off my usdc balance so let's go ahead and do that just so i can show you all how that works say usdc 0 0.005 swap that sign the transaction Prove it. And if you remember how many points I had, right? If I refresh this, it's probably going to go up. Let me connect my wallet again, 380. So I've come back over here into the pool. What did I say? How much do I want to deposit? 0 0.003. 
you know, add another zero and boom, I can make that swap or I can provide that liquidity into that pool. Then I'll just come back over, see what my next one is. What's my next one. And I'm just going to move on down the list doing this over and over and over again. Go to deposit 0 0.003. Then I just hit deposit, come back over here and do the same thing for the last one. Now, obviously you just want to make sure that you've got the appropriate amount of tokens for each one. 0.001 it's going to automatically convert and I can go ahead and add that and as you start to move through these checklists you're going to start to have these these badges that light up I'm also going to include this medium article that was put out from Yaka that gives you some additional information so in case you get stuck maybe there's something on this video that just wasn't explained clearly enough you can also utilize this for some additional help so once we've swapped through four coins right we've provided liquidity to the four specific pools we need to do something next that's called lock testing the thing about the lock testing is it's not really available right now you see it says here it's coming soon so this is going to be something that you're going to need to revisit in the next couple of days maybe even the next couple of weeks complete vote testing and complete launch pad testing so all of these are not currently available right now so if you're seeing this video again it's being recorded january 10th 2024 you're pretty early to this again there's not too many people that are doing this and again this is an airdrop they said they've come out with an airdrop if you guys need additional proof on that i'd be more than happy to supply it to you because i do have it uh it was a recording that was taken from the yaka twitter spaces that i was in today so that's going to be it for right now i mean this is pretty much all you can do as of right now again you can need to come back to complete the launch pad the vote as well as the lock uh, while you're waiting for these to become available, what I would do is just take a moment, read up on Yaka Finance, you know, check them out on Twitter, read up on their Medium articles, get familiar with the project, see if this is something that's going to be worth your time, see if this is something that you are going to want to do. Again, it doesn't utilize any real crypto, so it really just kind of requires your time. Um, read up on the program, read up on the project, see if it makes sense to you, see if this is something that you want to be a part of. And just use this video as a foundation kind of to do your own research. Again, at the end of the day, you have to be the one to make that decision. I just want to help provide some additional alpha and an opportunity here because, again, it is airdrop season. I think the people that get to these things early are going to be the ones that are probably going to benefit the most. All right. If there's any questions, comments or concerns, leave them in the comment section below and I will be able to get back to you as soon as possible. Appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.